the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. I love how you turn it around after I threw facts at you. You're telling to go backwards like this, but the facts is it's there. The yeah. facts is that these laws that you say that were good. I never, been, said, they, I never said they were good. First are they good laws? Said, you're, you're, wait, you're turning it around. I, I said they you're very turning, well could have been repealed for around. other reasons than racism. But I am saying this, that you're saying that it's a more difficult journey. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying right now in America, you have every opportunity. In fact, it's even more than that. You have preference as a person of color, it's easier for you to succeed than your white counterpart in this room right now. You are given a hand up. You are given discrimination in your favor right now. Hello, guys. What's up? Hi, guys. I hope you guys are following good. I'm going to be checking out the college students, <laughs> which was educated because he was talking about white privilege. Like, this is just crazy. Every college student has something to say, but I feel like this one was being educated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's not for that let's just bounce to this one. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? Like, we don't know everything. So every day you learn. So. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Because we are all college students. But no. I'm, not, I'm not a college student. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's check this out. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. How the heck can you come to a state like Arizona, live here, and Tucson, when we had, and say there's no such thing as white privilege or racism, when there's been not one but two laws that have been de deemed racist by a federal, lo uh, federal lawyer in the past 11 years. And here's the law. I, I know you go after people, man, and I got my facts. <laughs> Buckle up. All right, cool. Buckle up, man. You heard that. So you came prepared. 2003, Tucson Unified School District created a program called Mexican American Studies. You know what it is? Sounds pretty self-evident. Uh, it's, it's, it's critical race theory we are against. Okay. So in 2000, it was made to close the achievement gap for Latino students, for European American students. Tucson you has 75% Latino students. In 2007, we caught up. This is right around the time where Tom Horn, the state superintendent, saw this. He called these races, he called these classes racist, teaching the overthrow of the government. They were, he lied and said they were segregating these schools, segregating the students. But here's the thing. He never went to a class. And he tried three different times in 2007, 2008, 2009. And by 2010, Governor Jan Bruce signed the law that banned these classes. Mm. The only reason why he saw this because he saw that Latinos were catching up. Mm -hmm. in, 2000, in, 2000, right. in 2017, a federal uh, judge deemed this, that the law was racist and that his whole point of view was racist, and it, it was the 14th Amendment that was wrong for us. He deemed these classes that were racist the whole time. So I wanna know, how can you come here and tell me there's no such thing as white privilege and no such thing as racism? Easily. There's no such thing as white privilege or racism, so. But there's racism, but it's not institutional. I mean, so. So are you saying the judge was wrong? Are you of course. I mean, your judges so, could be wrong all the time without specific knowledge of what you're talking about with that. But here's the most obvious way I could debunk what you're saying, which is you assume Jan Brewer signed it because she hates Latino people. Is that right? It came out that she has. It's been proven. Hold on a second. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What evidence do you have that Jan Brewer hates Latino people? If you go watch the documentary about Raza Studies. What? It's been, go, go watch the, go watch the documentary. It's called Raza Studies. It's about Mexican-American studies. Oh, oh, La Raza Studies? Raza Studies. Okay. Well, I, yeah, not, not exactly well-versed in that, but... What's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Okay. It sounds interesting. Um, <laughs> but I suppose the question is, would, Jan, would there be another expl explanation for Jan Brewer doing that? Or are you going to blame She racism? signed another law called SB 1070. So what about SB 1070? What's wrong? Do you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. But well, I've never even been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers. <laughs> yeah. The skin okay, color. so who, so there we go. Here's white privilege. Why is who, that white privilege? Who? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. What? Yeah, well, I, I get, can show you my pile of drivers. Do you get asked tickets. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's license, okay? 
So, but here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I, I, do you really think that you're, you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled wait, over wait, too. Let me see. <laughs> you're never, never going to know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never going to have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim. Okay, you're mm -hmm. looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try and disempower you. And I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right. So you know how it's going to be Hold different? On. It's going to be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At mm -hmm. State Street Capital Advisors, if you wanna be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Mm -hmm. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right, you and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Hispanic privilege. <laughs> Shit. I can't see the look on his face. I love how you turn it around after I threw facts at you. You're telling to go backwards like this, but the facts is it's there. The yeah. facts is that these laws that you say that were good. I never, said, been, they, I never said they were good. First are they good laws? Said, you're, you're, wait, you're turning it around. I, I said they you're very well. That's why it's called the Tony Points. other reasons than racism, <laughs> but I am saying this. That you're saying that it's a more Good difficult one. journey. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying right now in America, you have every opportunity. In fact, it's even more than that. You have preference. As a person of color, it's easier for you to succeed than your white counterpart in this room right now. You are given a hand up. You are given discrimination in your favor right now. Hmm. I, I, that's 100% not true, bro. It's that BS that you'd be teaching right now. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate it. All right, enough. I, I don't know who she's saying. All right, thank you. Next question, appreciate it. And, and let me just say this is the final thing. I encourage you to really think deeply and say, why do I, why, th th thanks for coming. I, I encourage you to ask this. Is like, you say that the journey will be different regardless of skin color. And I, I, how about this? For our Latino conservatives here, do you, do, you, do you like when you hear stuff like this? He doesn't like, and, and by the way, I just encourage, and he's darker, so he's, he, yeah. And so, by the way, can you come up? Can you come up? He said he's darker. That's crazy. You got him tripping. So, I just want to ask our friend, our volunteer, our turning point, can, 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 what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Fuentes. Da Daniel Fuentes. <laughs> Daniel, our journey's different. Does skin color matter? Our journeys are not different, bro, because like you say, you know, we're one united under God. You know, I have been pulled over by cops many times. Most 99%, 0.9% of the times, these cops have treated me in the nicest ways. Cops that are probably look nothing like me. Um, you know, every single turning point event that I have been to, um, where obviously I can tell all of my Caucasian brothers and sisters they have treated me in the nicest of ways. It has always been always whites kind of on the left that have always mistreated me. I've gotten more mistreat from whites on the left than on the right for being a Latino conservative. God bless you and thank you, Dan. Thank you both. Appreciate it. We'll get to the next question. Thank you. We'll go to the next question. Thank you. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> she is crazy. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. That was kind of fun. I'm that funny. was fun. Funny. Watch, man. Like, <laughs> 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 but the guy, he, 
he didn't do a good research. He didn't do a good research. <laughs> he came bluntly. He didn't do a good research. He didn't do a good research. And he's living in he's living this kind of uh, how did he put it? Victim. Victim life. Victim life. Like every life. time. Like it's not right. If you live in that kind of life, you will always you will never move forward. You will never okay, move I've, forward. I've, I've, I've lived in a foreign country before. I not just um GHG precise. You know, in every country they know their citizens. Like, let's not talk about black and white now, for example. Let's not talk about black and white. Like, they know they are citizens by the way they talk, the way they look, the way they dress, the way they act. They definitely know what their country citizens. countries are? Just maybe a New York country, for example. Yeah. Let's say Europe, America. When someone from British goes to America, an American will know that this person is a British. For example, I. Right. So, the victim is trying to play is that because they address you because of who you are, they address him as who he is actually. Let's not look in, let's not look at the parts where um, they 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 pulled him over. Definitely, they pull everybody over. But because they are treating you in that way, which they treat everybody, they he victimizes himself and be like, oh, it's because I'm Hispanic, it's because I'm Spanish. That's why I'm being treated that way. Nah. They treat everybody that way yeah so as i was saying i living in another country the people there they know you are not from here they definitely know that oh you are from another country and they just treat you how they would treat a foreigner we know that sometimes some people cannot be um that nice to strangers or nice to foreigners but that doesn't mean because that's, they treated you like good. that doesn't that's make you for those people it's not everybody like, that treats foreigners in a different way people that just act normal no who gives a shit let, no let's, gives let's, a fuck. let's say let's say they didn't treat you nice that person you and meet, it's not good okay you're not let, generalize you're not generalizing okay, that okay. there is a privilege mm. like let, let's say someone from europe and someone from america all right they are in in a in place and because this person from europe did something so they will not like want to give the American upper hand and be like, oh, don't worry, you are, it's it's fine. But the person from Europe, they want to blame the person. No, nah, no, nah. we we've we've all been in a foreign country. We've all been in a foreign place where no, we've not all been. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> some but have some been. have been in a foreign mm. place. Uh, to my own experience, I feel like no matter where you are from, you'll be treated nice if you are nice. No matter no matter where you no, are from. No, it depends on who you encounter. Bro. Okay, depend on who you encounter. Yeah. yeah. And we we will not meet bad people every time. Sometimes we meet good people, sometimes we meet bad people. But honestly, if you are good, you meet good people. Imagine you get pulled up by a cop. A black person get pulled up by a cop and the black person is calm. Yeah. The cop wouldn't be harsh to the or wouldn't be brutal to the black person because it's black now nah, you treat him nice because the black person is also acting good he's acting good but i kind of understand where the, the guy was headed to but he was still oblivious he didn't understand what he was trying to see mm-hmm. he was still trying to act as a victim he's and acting, all he's, he's because the, there have there've been cases everyone has seen cases where they've treated people innocent people in harsh ways well, yeah, so now he's now like generalizing like, uh, like, uh, hey, like okay as long as the color of my skin is not white i will be treated this particular way and it's not fair mm. but it's not everybody that does that people do that we know people do that but not everyone Nah, not so everyone. it's weird so i feel like some people are being criticized by what they look like and definitely. some people are just okay with this that's where this this generation and this lifetime that we are it's oh, you know, it's getting better <laughs> it's, it's getting, getting better <laughs> it's getting better because <laughs> it's getting better because they are giving more opportunities to the hispanic they are giving more opportunities to the blacks look at the music industries it's full of blacks it's like the blacks are good now right? okay look at the can basketball look at the basketball there's a lot of black people <laughs> can i ask a question okay now okay so what if the way we are going now due to the fact that they've been harsh to other kind of races like okay from the beginning of time we knew that the whites yeah we all knew like the whites were like (laughs) like here 
and every other kind of races were below like until civilization and everything started like we okay. now say having more tents and all so we now wanted equality and all so now we're in this part of life where everyone is in it is in is on the same level <laughs> so now they're trying to since okay for okay the example is the blacks and whites now since the blacks were slaves to the whites now they're trying to give more uh opportunities to the blacks and now they're kind of like neglecting the whites more i like what he said like <laughs> they give more admissions and more opportunities to, to the blacks to blacks and hispanics and then they like you give this person now they give you more access since you are this particular color and now okay you're white so okay we have to give these people stuff first before you mm-hmm. how would the whites feel <laughs> i feel like even the whites are now they're kind of being neglected and we're not we're overlooking it we're overlooking it do you know do you know why it's all and it's not all whites are wicked it's not all blacks are wicked everyone every race has both good and bad definitely so now from uh by the grace of god now if thousands of years okay years from now everything continues going like this and then they start overlooking <laughs> the whites and the blacks and they are going yeah, up now the, racism the white. it's like circle of life the whites will not be like oh you guys are like white black privilege uh, black privilege <laughs> white lives matters and all shit that's crazy i feel like there's a crazy oh fantasy God. up there <laughs> you just brought up that imagination and yeah. i feel like it's true. As the way he, they were explaining things how they, they were giving some kind of drugs to mm-hmm. the hispanics and the whites and, and the blacks and then they were not giving it to the whites i'm like wait how if, if i'm a white guy and i go to a place and then all of us all of us are humans we are equal but then they're like okay whites uh, blacks and hispanics and asians <laughs> you guys should head here white you guys should wait i'm like oh, bitch, I'm oh why why <laughs> <But looking at laughs> we're society, all equal please society, don't don't try to make everybody's equal give everybody please give everybody. don't just like okay because they were unfair to these people in the past now we want everything to be okay now please I just feel like, i feel like i feel like in the world we are in today i right, there is always a difference between everything but everyone has a role to play everyone has a right role to play and because um everyone doesn't have when it comes to skin when it comes to race god mm-hmm. did not create blacks whites asians they didn't create us to okay so now blacks this is meant for you white this is meant for you yeah like we're all created we're all humans we 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 are all mammals we are are homo sapiens all of us are humans we are all we're just different colors we're all human but looking at it we're of of different race it's like dogs they are different kind of species but you're not telling me that now this is a husky this is this is a doberman and then the husky and doberman okay this one doesn't back this one back so they all back but, but your dogs but, but, they take but, shit but looking, at it, I, looking at it I, the dog example you gave right now all dog has their own characteristics but all dogs back all, all dog backs they yeah. shit all dog they backs sleep. all dog backs they give birth to your, your mammals your every like what your animals and everything they did not give every body has your thing in life that they wish Definitely. to do it depends on them but mm-hmm. you can't just say they create things like okay we have this and then this one you're a black guy oh blacks you guys are meant for this particular thing why you guys but, are meant for this <clears throat> thing no simple put simple put i what i'm going to say is um he didn't he didn't he didn't come prepared and he maybe he has been victimized he, maybe he has been victimized he before. did his research he did his research as a victim as a victim maybe he has been a victim before and that or maybe is he, ha- still, he hasn't he has been a victim before and that is still haunting him up to now i don't think he has because he would have said it he has been a he did his he did his research as as a from the point of view of mm-hmm. a victim like okay okay now I, as I'm, I'm this person he now did research on how they have been maltreating this particular people mm-hmm. and then he didn't even do research on other things now once about research you have to do you have to know about both sides yeah, you can't just do definitely. about like one particular place and expect to win no it doesn't work like that please. but i feel like i feel like he has been hotted before because i know how it feels like to be in a society where um you, do, you are not accepted uh-huh. like you need license to do something yeah everyone needs like no you can't just 
this world like, everything we are saying everywhere is free you're not kind of there's free, so, there's, something he, not free. there's something he didn't get all right there's something he didn't get if you are a foreigner in another country you are obligated yeah to not think you are even obligated to not think you are a citizen of that country obviously you're you not a foreigner. citizen so they maybe they've treated him in one way or the other so he's not looking at like privilege <laughs> like, that's crazy i want to try and get what you're trying to say that's crazy okay. you went to a new con- a, a foreign country for the first time you've not even gotten your citizenship mm-hmm. and then you're expected most, to be called a citizen when most, you're not it's not mo- fair it's, not, it's right. not fair it's not fair it's not right mostly for him because looking at him i don't feel like he's a citizen because looking at maybe he's a citizen but the his um his race is not of that yeah of that's why they call them hispanic americans yeah, black americans hispanic. asian americans white americans you can be different colored but you were born there the, or you went there like now i can go to america or the uk and stay for a particular time and apply mm-hmm. for citizenship at the end of the day i can you, get given yeah. the citizenship yeah you, so basically you, i am a citizen. a citizen no matter my color or my accent or yeah. anything she, he's definitely a citizen i no dispute. Or he's not. Or he's Who not. Knows? We don't but know. But his race. His race doesn't determine race, his citizenship. No, no, know? no, no, no. I know, I know. His race doesn't determine his citizenship. But maybe he has been victimized because of his race. Before. Or he hasn't. Or he hasn't. But I, f- I, f- I feel what he felt, though. Oh, he I hasn't. Feel <laughs> you have to think two I feel ways what now. Felt. I feel what he, felt. he might have been. <laughs> he might happen to be. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like we should wrap up this video. Okay, like, sounds you know. fun. <laughs> we should wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for joining. And we're gonna come back with all our videos. Let's get feedback on this video. This video is really mind blowing for me. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank Keep you. watching and watch out for peace and God bless you.